What inspires me to do my activism work is the community members. The people that live there is the people that suffers from the community burdens, but also, you know, uh, gain strength from the community's progress. My name is Mizra Walker, I'm 18 years old, and I live in Hunts Point in the South Bronx section of New York City. Hunts Point deals with so many burdens of environmental racism. We collect about 44% of the city's waste. We live near three major highways, 14 waste transfer stations, uh, two processing plants. We need jails, we need processing plants and waste transfer stations, no doubt about it. But the fact that all of it is placed in one community, the community suffers from that. I definitely have a lot to thank to my mom. At seven years old, she wanted me to continue exploring the world and not be stuck in my own block. When I was in second grade, um, I went to this community center called the Point CDC, and they did a lot of activism work in the community, and that kind of sparked my interest in environmental activism, people's health and their living and their quality and just the access of, of it all, of transportation, of green space. Sophomore year in high school, I decided to join their teen activist group called Action activists coming to inform our neighborhood. If they could just like sit down, think about the survey questions, ask the community residents. Right. She's a natural born leader from, from the beginning. She is literally an example of how a mature youth should act. She, by her second year, was vice president of the group. In her final year, she was president of the group. And then when you realize her age, you're just like, holy smack. We're a teen youth activist group, high school age students, and we work on environmental and social campaigns. Action is currently working on an urban and farming campaign, uh, bringing more green space. We have about three community gardens. One problem that we saw in the community was there was no transportation access to Beretta Point Park, which is a park that's located 15 minutes away from the residential section. Whenever the opening hours was there, like there was hardly anybody. There was about 15 people there at the park. It's on the water, it has a view of the Manhattan skyline, and it's beautiful. The problem is that it's in the back of Hunts Point, the, um, on the other side of the industrial park. There's 15,000 trucks that come in and out of the community daily. So if you're living like in the residential section 15 minutes away, you have to cross those truck trafficking to go to the park. And we thought if we have this brand new park that's about three years old and we also have this pool but nobody's going, then we need transportation access. So we surveyed the community, asking community residents if they're aware of Beretta Point Park, and majority said no, that nobody was aware of Beretta Point Park, but if there was transportation access to it, that they would most likely go. So then uh, we sent in those survey findings and held a youth-led press conference on Earth Day. Hello, my name is Mizra Walker. Hi, I'm Tatiana Cheveria, and we are members of the teen advocacy group called Action. And we had some local news organizations show up, a representative from our congressman's office showed up, the community board showed up, and our local councilwoman showed up, and all spoke out in favor along with us. In the summertime, we heard the good news that the NTA agree on having this seasonal bus shuttle for the pool time only during the season. I remember going home and it was like the first time really seeing the bus shuttle sign there. And the fact that there was people lined up, that was just like a shock. And it was great to see something actually being implemented. Two summers, the shuttle bus operated and it served over 4,000 people of the community as well as workers of Hunts Point. Currently, the shuttle bus is not operating due to MTA budget cuts, so no community residents and workers have no way of getting back to Redo Point Park. The community is definitely working on finding a new way and solution to continue having public transportation accessible for the community. Hunts Point is definitely the poster child of change, and it continues moving forward of finding new innovative solutions and just alternatives to fix these problems that are currently happening. Uh, people are starting to realize more and more of like what's going on in the community and how beneficial it is. It takes time and it's a lot of patience for because it's not a result that you have right away, but it's definitely something worth working towards and especially to educate your peers in your community. It's a really big thing for them to be aware of what's going on in their own backyards.